The start of the Big 12 tournament is a sign of hope for downtown businesses. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson joins us live to explain how the Power and Light District has navigated this past year through the pandemic. Mackenzie? Well, guys, we went from celebrations to cancellations here at the Power and Light District. Fans watched the Chiefs win the Super Bowl and celebrated here, and then we moved on to a parade. Following the parade, we moved on to the Big 12 tournament that got started and then was soon canceled right after that. And that left businesses here in the Power and Light District in limbo for much longer than they had hoped for. We've seen them all branch out and try different things and test out new things. And um, so it's been a year of both challenge, but also growth. I see all of our businesses um, coming out of this stronger because of what they've gone through and what we've gone through together. And I'm excited to see that because um, I really do believe we can all grow from this. As COVID-19 cases fluctuated the past year, restaurants and bars have had to make adjustments to ensure they are following the ever-changing safety guidelines. And now with the vaccine rollout and cases dropping, restrictions have loosened, establishments have returned to regular business hours, and people are eager to move forward. But what the future holds downtown is still uncertain. I think everybody wants to be where we were last year, the year before. They want to be able to go to live concerts. They want to be able to go out and, and visit friends and go to a nice restaurant and not have to wear a mask. So I think everybody is working really hard to help us get there. Um, so I'm hoping by this time next year, we are back to where we were and people will be able to come down in larger groups and be able to watch the games and we'll be able to do a fan fest with pep rallies and such. So in order to do those things, Waller says that the Power and Light District is going to play things safe this year in order to get this entertainment district back to where it was before the pandemic started. Reporting live from the Kansas City Live Block, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.